Hey everyone, it's Blue Lizard Jello, and welcome back to Blue Plays Elden Ring, and that, that's Sir Gideon. That is Sir Gideon Ulfnir, the all-knowing, waiting for me, and I have a feeling he is, uh, he's not there to just, you know, tell me about some more unlocated demigods or secret medallions. No, I, I have a feeling he's got some words for us. Maybe he wants to be Elden Lord, and uh, now that we've gotten all the information and come this far, he's ready to try and stop us. Maybe. Anyway, here are my stats. Level 155, if you can believe it. And let's approach him and see what there is to it. I can't ah, target. I knew you'd come to stand before the Elden Ring. To become Elden Lord. What a sad state of affairs. I commend your spirit, but alas. None shall take the throne. Queen Marika has high hopes for us that we continue to struggle unto eternity. Oh, what did you just do? Look at that. That's a cool little dance move you have. Whoa, all right. Ooh, a little Riker's Rancor even. Look at you. You are all knowing. You have learned, whoa. All right. Yeah, um, ah, not good, not good, not good, not good, not good, not good. Roll, roll, roll. Oh, that's a big hit. <laughs> I just wanted to see what he could do. Oh, what? Ah! You fought well until now. Well, that's fair. I didn't fight well at all there. That was, he's got quite the menagerie of spells. That's kind of cool. I like that Scarlet Blossom one. That is, that is pretty neat. Hey, at least I don't have to go very far. All right, now let's, uh, let's give him a run for his money, huh? Oh, right. Eee. Whoa, all right. You know, he's got the range that you do. Ah. Let's get in there. Ah. All right. Here we go. No, no, get you. <laughs> I didn't get my runes. That's okay, that was great. I'm not treating him like a real boss. If you can't tell, I'm just kind of treating him like an NPC. In fact, it wasn't until that second attempt I even realized he had a boss health bar at the bottom. I was just focusing on the name above him when I first started targeting. That's funny, all right, okay, all right. No more, uh, no more Mr. Nice Silverius. Um, that's decent, decent, decent. Especially if you want to walk towards me. <laughs> Listen, uh, you fool. That leaves you really open. You fool. I mean, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. You can you can heal just like me though. I thought that would have been out of range. Uh oh, heal up. Amp. Yeah, uh, he still's got the phalanx above him though. We gotta get that gone. There we go. Excuse me. Oh, hey, I should heal. Jeepers! 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 <laughs> Alright. I don't really want to summon for this. I don't know why. I, it's it's kind of personal between me and Sir Gideon. I don't really know why. I don't think he's a very good person. <laughs> I mean, his own his own foster daughter has abandoned him, and I think that she had quite the valid reason for it. I would like to try and hit him with a nebula. Is that? You know what, though? What about a moon? Can I get you with a moon? Oh, you know what? I could do. If I wait until he does the Scarlet Bloom, I absolutely could get him with that. Now, you can do it now. 
you gonna do it now? No, little Riker's Rancor. Oh, there it is. Um, this could be dangerous. No! You booger. Ah, it's just not gonna happen. Unless, you know what, just start here. Am I get him? It did! It did even. Oh, that, that was a nice hit. Okay, let's, uh, actually, we don't need to heal yet. Oh, that's just perfect, you silly goose. Back up, back up, back up. Uh, I am gonna heal now. I wonder if he's like all the other NPCs, though, where he can only heal twice. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? You're going... Ooh. All right. Changing it up a bit. I dig it. Oh. Oh, oh, whoa, oh, oh, oh. whoa. Nah, I don't like this. Oh, run. Okay. Now back up, back up, back up. Yeah, you can't do anything else. Oh, that's a big hit. Oh, that's a big hit. Oh, so was that, though. Let's see. What are we going to do? What's what's for fun? Oh, hey, remember the time I did not heal up? Okay. Did I time this right? Yes! Hey, we got it with the with the nebula. A tarnished cannot become a lord. Not even you. A man cannot kill a god. Sir our scepter of the all-knowing and the all-knowing helm, armor, gauntlets. And Greaves, 150,000 for that. All right, I'm curious about that that weapon we just got. It was a scepter. Is that actually some sort of? Now it's a hammer. Knowledge above all. Scepter in the form of a hand grasping a pearl. Signature weapon of Sir Gideon Ulfnir, the All-Knowing. The pearl stands for the world, the heavens, and an eye, representing the many forms of knowledge never fully attainable. Even knowing that, the All-Knowing's hand grasps for it. Knowledge above all, raise the scepter to manifest the realm of the all-knowing. Enemy magic and holy damage negation will be reduced for all within the area, including the caster. Oh, really? Oh, really? Let's face it. We're not going to be using Misery Cord probably anytime soon, but what if... How heavy is it? Okay, it's only 4.5. Not nearly as heavy as I thought. So what if... So how quick does it do it? That's not bad. That's not bad. What if I did that for the next, whatever the next fight is? To try and get more magic damage? Uh, let's go ahead and, oh, wait a minute. What's, um, oh, right. These are already here. All of the dead finger maidens. My, just going up. Closer to the earth tree. He has returned. The Lord has returned at long last. Our very first Lord to brandish the Elden Ring once more. Oh, so that would be Godfrey, the first Lord. If he's returned, we've already fought him in spirit form. That sounds an awful like we're going to fight him in not so spirit form. I mean, we are approaching the burning earth tree. We have to be just, honestly, moments from the end. Got another grace. I didn't even look at the last one. It was called. It might have just been Sir Gideon. But let's rest here. And we'll, oh, let's grab this and then we'll rest. Erd tree heal. Vastly heals HP for self and nearby allies. The Erd tree once flourished with abundance, yet. It was only for a fleeting moment. Such is the course of all life. So this is the queen's bedchamber. 
And what was the previous one called? Oh, just the Archery Sanctuary. Okay. I suppose we just keep pushing forward then. Are there any NPC summons for whatever's here? Doesn't look like it. Can I see? Oh, 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 oh. Is that Nephili? <gasps> Nephili Lou. Ah. Oh. I kind of want to bring her in. I also want to. I kind of want to see what's there. I, I saw someone in the throne. Is that. Is that Godfrey? might be. Do I bring Nefeli? Not for the first time. Let's be honest. We're gonna we're gonna need more more attempts than just one. I would imagine whatever this is. Also, why did I go in with 150,000? Long and hard didst thou fight, tarnished warrior, spurned by the grace of gold. Be assured the Elden Ring resteth close at hand. Alas, I am returned. To be granted audience once more. Upon my name as Godfrey, the first Elden Lord. Godfrey the first Elden Lord. Here he is, not even the spirit. And look, I think it's what, Sarash? The lion on his back? Oh, man. Whoa, careful now. Whoa. Oh, that's not a lot of damage, holy cow. I mean, granted, that was just, you know, one little hit. That's okay. You're not really concerned about my magic, though, are you? Like, not not even really a little. You kind of just wait for me to attack before you do anything. And obviously, you're going to have another phase. I bet I could actually jump over that. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right. Yeah, I think that's probably better to jump over. He's got some health, though. Yeah, he does just kind of wait around, doesn't he? When you walk into those, that's fine. What do you got? What do you got? I don't know. Whoa! Okay. So you've got to... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa! <laughs> that's some that's a crazy AOE. Oh, go, 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 go. I can't see. Oh. Wow. Alright, I got him a third of the way down. I think I might bring in Nephili. Instead of doing a spirit summon, let's bring in Nephili. I keep saying Nephili, Nephili. But let's bring in Miss Lou. Because I'd like to fight alongside her. I also do want to try out 
maybe a couple new spells. Uh, this is going to be useless, I think. This has its use. These I could get off. That would be nice. Great Oracular, maybe. I don't think Zamora is going to happen, but let's see. Maybe some death spells. Ooh, they take more arcane than I remember, though. Let's see. Now, he is a Tarnished, right? So I couldn't fear you some of those. Now, 30 faith. What's the highest faith I can get to? Let's actually take a look at that real quick without doing any sort of rebirth. So my faith's at 20. I can get up to 25 easily. 28 with one of the source seals. Or, actually, uh, the Shard of Alexander is going to be worthless here. What about... What if I did this? So let's do Faith. And let's get rid of the spell casting time. And let's look at Marika's Source Seal. That gets me to 30. Now I'm going to take more damage. I'm going to take more damage. But we can play around a little bit with Explosive Ghost Flame and Ancient Death Rancor. And anything else I want to try? Uh, wounds caster to unleash a trail of blood. We could try that. We could try that. And now, that also means then, I want to put on another staff, which is the staff, uh, the Prince of Death. Yeah, boost death sorcery. Okay. So let's, let's give this a go. You know, even if we're just having fun with it while Nefeli detracts. And I could always bring in the, well, shieldy boys, or I could switch out to the demi-humans. Do I want to do a rune arc? I have nine of them. I think so. Let's do, let's do a rune arc. Which also means, actually with a rune arc, that I don't need this. Which would make me take more damage. But it gives me more FP. We're going to go with it. We're going to go with it. Let's wait for her. Of course, we don't need this any longer. And I'm going to bring this. And let's see how she does. Let's see if he'll walk right into this. Yes, he does. 1,900 damage. Wow. All right, uh, Nephilim. Whoa, that's new. Can you get his attention? Let's see if I can get a nice proc. Or a frost proc, I guess, is what it is. Yep, there it is. There it is. We got it. Oh! That was a... That was a very timely dodge. Okay, time to time to go. Um, oh, jeez. How about ancient death? Pretty good. Pretty good. Not upset about that. Uh oh, a little upset about. Oh, what's happening? All right, phase two. Is it the lion's turn? That will be all. Thou didst me good service, Sirosh. I've given thee courtesy enough. <sighs> 
Now I fight as Horror Lu. Warrior! Horror Lu? Isn't he from the, uh, the opening cutscene as one of the Tarnas that they talk about? Tell you what, let's, uh, oh, goodness! Oh, definitely don't want that. Oh, she's in trouble. Okay, cast that a few times and then run away. Ho oh, ho. Whoa, 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 nope. Run away, run away. Whoa. <laughs> oh, she's got some lightning, that's cool. Alright, Briar's a punishment. Let's see what that does. Um. Not much, but you know what? Let's go. Let's go get our runes. Why not? You know what, though? Oh, she's taking some damage. I should probably help her out, right? Look at what she's doing, or what he's doing. Oh, that didn't hit. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, gosh. Oh. Got me just... What is he doing pulling the ground up like that? Alright, I think that, that fight's doable. I like having Nepheli, especially this is Horlu. This is Nepheli Lu. Is it ever mentioned that this is his daughter? It seems like it would be. Okay, I kind of like these new spells. Kind of like them. I gotta do some jumps in that last phase. I'm gonna give him another go just with Nepheli. And then, if that doesn't work, we may bring out the shieldy boys. But I'm going to try and just melt down phase one as quickly as I, as I can. I think I'll just go in. Just kind of go to the side here. Kind of wait. Make sure this is actually going to hit. Hopefully it is. It is. I thought I was at oh no my roots. That wasn't nobly fought. That was terribly fought. Thank you for I, I appreciate the kind words. Godfrey, I do. Mr. Lou. My intentions with your daughter are um Well they're to they're they're to kill you. You didn't ask though. You didn't ask. Alright, what once more with just <laughs> Nephilim and I. This is a cool fight. This is a cool fight. Yeah, I think I think going in right away is not a bad idea. Wait a couple steps. Back up. There you go, there you go. That's perfect, that's what I wanna see. though. Give me the oh! I don't know if I got the ice proc or not. Uh-oh. Back up, back up. Bad timing. <laughs> bad timing. Very bad timing. Uh, I want to try Ghost Flame. Ow! Because I don't actually know how, how it works. Um, it doesn't work great. Okay, he's taking some- Whoa, we're dead. That just, ugh, it's not great. But, maybe some ancient death. Maybe that'll go into phase two. There we go. happen. Oh, nice. Oh, big, big boom, big boom.
Go, Nefeli Sergeant. And of course, I can't do anything. Uh oh. Oh. Yeah! Stop it, stop it, stop it! Okay, we're, we're alive. I would say. Oh, that's bad. I'm jumping at the wrong time. There we go. Good jump. Oh, bad jump. By that I mean complete lack of jump. Oh, he got me good. He didn't. Oh, there's there's the death. There's the death. I was wondering why I was dying. Now I know. <laughs> okay, that's it. It's time for Nephili and uh, Shieldy Boys. Yeah. I think it's that time. All right, so not all these spells are winners. I do like, I do like the ancient death rancor, Bryze or punishment. I'm kind of, well, I'm extremely unsure on how to use. I'm not gonna use another rune arc if I'm gonna bring out the shieldy boys. In fact, I'm not even gonna bring them out right away. Wait just a moment. Good. Now get his attention. Get his attention. Get his attention. <laughs> All right. Good. Try some bubbles. Oh! Oh! Wow! Deceptive that range. Now yeah, let's just do some ancient depths. Kind of as many as we can muster. Cause that's a lot. Oh, that's great. That is Melt City. I'm really bad at <laughs> timing the jumps. Okay. Okay, good. This is probably absolutely city silly. Oh no, this is bad. But I was off the ground. Couldn't that count? <laughs> Couldn't that count? It should count. I feel like it should count. <laughs> it was a moon. You can't ground shake a moon. All right, let's think Pokemon, right? You can't use ground attacks against air and have it be super effective, right? Probably really only played Pokemon Go, so you can't quote me on my Pokemon knowledge. But that sounds correct. <laughs> Alright, you know what? We're forgetting a lot. But we're forgetting about my, uh, my new staff, my new scepter. Okay, shieldy boys, get his attention so I can run in there. Okay, now. Good, good, good. Night Comet, always going to be supreme. Alright, have a little spiral shard. Liking it. Hey, look at that. I actually dodged it. Alright, should be phase two here soon. There it is. Now we run. And we run. <laughs> this is definitely not worth it. Um, okay, I'm out of the range though. And look, Nefeli just waited. That was brilliant on your part. Oh, and it got him. Uh oh! Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Whoa! Stop it! Stop it! Okay, we're alright. 
Let's not do too many because we don't want to get caught in the big booms, right? I think we got him though. There we go. Tarnished. Thy strength defends a crown. Oh, thanks, Horaloo. Remembrance of Horaloo. Two hundred and ninety something. That two hundred ninety-two thousand. I wonder if we can go talk to Nephilim now. Oh my. I'm supposed to be going into the earth tree now. I don't wanna. Did I even um I don't remember if I if I have looked at everything that we've been collecting. I've kind of been just pushing forward so so hard. Not so fast. I have been, you know, stopping. But the black blade we read, we read the Dragon Lord, Fire Giant. When Godfrey, first Elden Lord, was robbed of his grace, becoming tarnished, he took with him his kinfolk and left the lands between. After the long march of the tarnished came to an end, Godfrey divested himself of kingship, becoming a simple warrior once more. So, we definitely want to go take a look and see... What is this called, by the way? This is just... Alright, the Elden Throne. Fair. Let's go back to Roundtable. Let's see if anything has changed. I mean, it, gosh, it should just be Roderick and Hugh at this point, right? Is it more on fire? <laughs> it might be more on fire. Gideon is gone. It, I think it is. I think it's actually really starting to crumble. Husks are still doing fine. Always nice to see the husks. Oh, Roderica wasn't out. Oh, maybe I just ran past her. Probably did. Who are you? <gasps> no. Oh. I must be a blacksmith. <laughs> now, let's get smithing. Could you tell me what happened? Why is the round table burning? In ruins. Why does that girl weep for me? Oh. Have I forgotten something of dire importance? That's... This is possibly the saddest end for an NPC in the game, and, and maybe in any of their games, because this just... If you've ever had to see a loved one go through the stages of Alzheimer's, of dementia, and lose sense of who they are, what their purpose is, of what's going on around them, really just losing just such a sense of self and belonging. That's what Hugh's experiencing right now, and that's nothing short of heartbreaking. I see. Yo. Oh, so it wasn't just me this happened to. To think he'd forget who you were as well. I knew he'd burn himself out. Old Hugh, I think we could talk him into leaving the round table hold now, but maybe it's better that we don't. It's only proper that we respect his choice to stay. Oh, is that right? So Master Hugh won't listen to you either. You have my thanks regardless. I'll try and talk him round next time. I know he was given this great entreaty to craft a weapon which could slay a god. Though I can't help but think of it as a curse, a fearsome curse, put on him by Queen Marika. And if that's the case, I'm not sure there's anything we can do. I'll remain with Hugh. He made me who I am today. I'd like to return the kindness in whatever small way I can. got to do it right we got to get shieldy boys i think roderica might have one of the strongest albeit briefest character developments only because when you meet her she's actually looking to become one of the grafted in stormvale castle and it's only because someone saw something in her that she didn't see herself hugh saw the makings of a spirit tuner. She didn't even realize she had the gift, but someone nurtured that gift and mentored her and 
made her into this self-confident, strong individual with a real sense of worth, a real sense of purpose. And now that loyalty that she has to that person is undying despite the world literally crumbling around her. Love it. Absolutely love it. Okay, well, all the other finger maidens are dying. It just makes sense. Crown of Godfrey, the first Elden Lord. The age of the Erd Tree began amongst conflict when Godfrey was Lord of the battlefield. He led the war against the giants, faced the Storm Lord alone, and then there came a moment when his last worthy enemy fell, and it was then, as the story is told, that the hue of Lord Godfrey's eyes faded. Malekith's Helm. Beast's Helm made of black iron and decorated with gold, worn by Malekith the Black Blade. Malekith, Queen Merica's loyal half-brother, bore a blade imbued with destined death, and there was not one demigod who did not fear him. Champions knew what was at stake. Indeed, that is what made them champions. I don't think I looked at these. Malekith's Black Blade. A sad shadow of its former glory. After a fragment of death was stolen on that fateful night, Malekith bound the blade with his own flesh such that none might ever rob death again. We saw that in the cutscene where he actually pulled it out of, well, really that symbol on his wrist. The unique skill is Destined Death, set free the remnants of Destined Death, plunging the greatsword into the ground to summon a myriad of blades. In addition to dealing immediate damage, this attack reduces the enemy's maximum HP and continues to wear down the HP for a short time. Or, we have this presumably incantation. Power gleaned from the remembrance of Malekith, Caster creates an illusory black blade, then leaps forward to deliver a spinning slash that emits a wave of light. It can be followed up with one additional attack. This blade was once imbued with destined death. Death, in addition to dealing damage, reduce their maximum HP. You got it. And remembrance of Hora Lu. The Axe of Godfrey, weapon of Godfrey, Elden Lord. It was broken in a battle fought as leader of the Tarnished during the Long March. This weapon is symbolic of Godfrey's vow to conduct himself as a lord later, becoming an emblem of the golden lineage. In the days of the past, a crown was warranted with strength. Regal roared, let loose a, whitey, my, <laughs> a what, hmm, mighty war cry, raising attack power while sending out a shockwave that cannot be guarded against by stomping the ground, while active strong attack becomes a lunging slash. The Ash of War horror lose Earthshaker. Slam both hands onto the ground to violently shake the earth and unleash a shockwave, follow up with an additional input to slam the ground again. I'm gonna grab that one. Well, I think lastly, what I wanna do is head to Stormville Castle and see if Nephili has anything to add. As far as NPC quests go, I think Brother Corrin and Goldmask are about the only ones that I have left. I should probably check in on them maybe at the beginning of the next episode just to see if there's been any improvement there. I will remain to sort your guidance, surely, Lyas. For the time being. At which time I'm raising you. How, uh, how disappointing. Ah, well then. How disappointing. Yeah, very. I am uh, I'm a little let down at that. I just fought alongside her against what may be her father. I don't know. I don't know if it's ever outrightly stated. You'll have to let me know that. And there lies Godric. But that's going to do it. I don't know how much we have left. It, it very well could be that the next part is the finale, which is, is mind-blowing if that is the case because I've been at this for hours a day for two months straight. And many of you have been along for the entire journey, every step of the way. And for that, I'm very grateful. So thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you at least one more time next time.